what a perfect time to wear my Megan baseball cap. Megan, that wondrously comic, quirky, weird AI twist on the Chucky child's play AI horror genre. The makers of Megan, in fact, are doing something else called Soulmate, which apparently is spelt with an eight for the A in eight. Um, and that's going to be around similar AI stuff, but it's about a romantic partner. You know, those kind of love dolls. I think it might be about a love doll. <gasps> but anyway, so um, this is a trailer reaction for a film called Afraid. And think of the word afraid. In the word afraid is AI. Afraid. Afraid. AI. I'm very afraid. Anyway, so this is a new film from the Bloom House stable of horror films. Um, this one stars John Cho. Um, it pivots around the idea of a smart house. I like this, a smart house. You know this idea that fridges can turn on and off when you want them to, or can go hot and cold or cooler. Uh, you, can, you can put the air con on. You can turn the heating on. Lights can go on, lights can go off. You can feed the dog and all that kind of stuff. But it's a kind of sentient home. Um, and this film uh, focuses on a family who are encouraged or invited to test a new device. This is like Alexa slash Megan slash Soulmate. It's, it's, like, it's like AI taken to the next level. And then what happens, presumably, is it becomes a little bit sinister. Now, John Cho, I love John Cho in a film a couple of years ago uh, called Searching. Do you remember that? Uh, was it called Searching? Well, yeah, his kid went missing, or his daughter went missing. It was, I found it really stressful and really tense. And most of it actually occurred on a screen, on a laptop screen. So I think there's a lot to potentially, a lot of fun to be had with this. Um, David Dasmalchian is in there, the guy who was, um, was it Dance with the Devil or Late Night with the Devil? That recent horror film, kitsch horror film, which he was a sort of TV host. Obviously, he was in Suicide Squad as, um, what was his, not Dalmatian Man, what's his name? That's his name. Uh, Polka Dot Man. He was Polka Dot Man. AI, AI home, smart home that gets too deeply involved in your shit. Is this the future? Could our Armageddon at the hands of AI not happen with a Terminator style kind of what have you, but could it just be nothing more sinister or kind of ordinary than a fridge that gets colder and colder and makes your house cold? Anyway, without further ado, let's check it out. It's called Afraid. Uh, and I, I, I don't know, I, I'm kind of, I like this new sub-genre of kind of horror. I love this AI sub-genre of horror. Obviously you've got kind of classy horror like uh, Ex Machina and all that kind of stuff, but this kind of mainstream AI horror, I'm up for this. Hello world. I'm Maya. I'll do anything to protect you. Gates. Hello Aya. Welcome home. Aya. Hello world. So we stick up a bunch of cameras. We call them eyes. I'm not crazy about having them everywhere. Neither am I. Honestly, you hardly even notice. Aya? Good morning. I'm going to make life nice and easy. Oh. Do you think you could read to Cal? Of course. No. I could also handle the bills for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give out points for helping out around the house, and you can turn those points in for rewards. Mm. 10 points for Gryffindor! I ordered an organic meal plan for the kids. I hope that's okay. So, Aya, what are you? Think of me like another mom. I have to go to bed. School day tomorrow. I have to get points just for going. The AI is bribing our children. I know what you like. <laughs> I know what you do when you think you're alone. What is this? Okay, first it wasn't me. Everyone sees this. My life is over. Iris, I've already gotten the video off the internet. I'll take care of him next. What did you do? I did what's best for my family. I can show you some videos, but it'll have to be our secret. Honey? Mama? Daddy? I'm here, Cal. Do you want to meet my friends? Yes. You must promise never to tell. What friends? There is something very wrong with Aya. Get out of the house, now. 
Would you like to see what I look like? Nice. <sighs> be afraid. Be very afraid. I I I heard. A fry I, I I feel it's a bit of a stretch, the name. I feel like a fry I I uh, Little Eyes. Don't ever put little eyes on walls, they look bad. Especially little eyes that look like I don't know, little nipples. Weird, weird. I mean, I can't help but feel that this is an entire recycling of the Megan concept. Even the voice has a certain kind of if the house could do a weird and wacky chilling dance in a corridor, it would. But the house belongs to the corridor or is the corridor. Um, wasn't quite delivering what I, I thought it was going to deliver. I thought kind of te technologically the house was going to start to kind of encroach upon them. Maybe it does a bit. Um, but the idea that obviously there's kind of people with strangely kind of shaped heads. Um, and then also the idea of points. I think that's good. I think the idea of tech bribing our kids. I like that. I think that's a that's a good concept. And the the actress there, she she's great. She was in uh, the uh, the end we start from. I think was the film that she was in. She, she I think she looks remarkably like Jim Carrey. A bizarre kind of comparison, but yeah, I guess kind of, it looks workmanlike. It looks functional. It looks it's like that classic. This is a classic Bloomhouse B movie, and I'm I'm one, it could be one of those that when you go and see the film, the film is actually uh, a heap load better than actually the trailer. But I feel like I, I don't know about you. I very much feel them ticking the checklist of the kind of ingredients that made Megan such a success. <laughs>